Oh please post a link to that repugnant statement, so that they are put on blast. R slash personal reddit. Drunk elephant is not really worth the hype and you're paying for a brand name. Personal. It has all sorts of fancy ingredients. And half of said ingredients are standard filler, and are to make the product look slash feel luxurious. Another quarter are fancy random shat, that hasn't even been studied extensively enough to know if it makes a significant in improving actual skin health. And the other quarter is actually decent product mixed with a bunch of nonsense. You're paying for a brand name and it's sad to see big companies in my opinion profit from people paying for luxury. Also I'm really not trying to diss anyone on what they choose to purchase. Just know that you really don't need a 60 to $100 product to improve skin health. I honestly would place my bets on brands like Cerave, Cetaphil, Vanacream, Simple, T.O., La Roche Posay. You get it. To outperform and entirety regimen. Again if it works for you then it works for you. Just seeing people getting recommendations for an expensive cream that's literally in my opinion no better than hundreds of cheaper alternatives makes me sad. These companies are evil and exploit our insecurity and turn it into profit for a price that's downright extortion. I mean a business is a business and they need to make money, but Drunk Elephant in my opinion is one of the worst offenders out there and I can't for the life of me figure out why it's so popular on this sub. I literally never recommend people to purchase an $80 cream that's just as good as a massive $20 tub of something else. Yet you see people on here touting Tatcher and Drunk Elephant, and I'm like holy hell who could afford a $1000 regimen lol. I listened to a podcast where the owner, maybe, of the brand was interviewed, and she said something along the lines of if you're not using every drunk elephant product altogether, and you're combining it with other brands in your routine, it's your fault if it doesn't work. Screamed funny and arrogant to me, so I never bought from the brand. Wow, imagine telling on yourself like that. They basically said the products themselves aren't good enough to stand on their own, and need the whole line to be effective. Yeah, I have no problems if someone wants to buy high-end skincare, so long as they don't feel like they have to buy luxury to get good results, but the attitude from Drunk Elephant really puts me off. Everything is your fault if Drunk Elephant doesn't work. If a product breaks you out it's because you're using non-Drunk Elephant products in your routine. Everyone's skin is the same and needs the same routine, the hateful eight, or whatever their fear monger realist is, etc. I get that they gotta push their products, but they can certainly do that in a way that makes sense and doesn't paint every brand but Drunk Elephant in a bad light. The suspicious 6. One of the ingredients they say they don't use and is bad is silicones. Yet they have trethoxacaprolilsilane in one of their sunscreens which is a silicone. Yes, I heard that too. Her reasoning was like your skin care routine is only as good as the worst ingredient. Something along those lines such a gimmick. Oh please post a link to that repugnant statement, so that they are put on blast. It was on the Skinny Confidential podcast episode 221. They sent me an entire range in PR once. And of course I was thrilled that Aisha's expensive. Was it nice? Yes, of course. And I fell in love with D bronzy, the only bronzer type thing I can use. Thank god it's one of their cheaper products at $36, but did my skin miraculously change? No. Honestly, I wasn't really dealing with anything I couldn't handle to begin with. Just dry skin with the occasional hormonal pimple slash redness sometimes. And as I use these products up and gave some away, I can't with that sunscreen. There's truly nothing that great about them. Protiny is nice. I like their Merila more than I care to admit, but I've never tried twos. I need to, but I can't spend $67 or $72 on each every time I run out. I mean, I guess I could, but I don't think it's a good idea for my bank account, and I also just think it's silly unnecessary. The Ordinary, LRP, and Paulus Choice all have products that are fractions of the price. With TO you can get an entire AM slash PM skin care routine for the price of one drunk elephant moisturizer. I've been using a Eucerin cream lately at night that I love. It was $8 in CVS. The fear mongering really gets me too. They say it's all drunk elephant or your skin won't respond. That's just not possible for a lot of people most people. Myself included. 
their owner reminds me of Rosemary Swift. I love my living luminizer so much, but what's up with that lady seriously, with the suspicious six and all that. It's scaring people into buying their products, and it's not cool. Most expensive breakout of my life. Had to give it all away to my cousin, who could wash her face with dish soap and still have the best skin. Thankfully I got the birthday sample from Sephora to find that out. Worst breakout I'd had in a long time. Thank goodness I read this. I've been having a breakout on my chin, which is abnormal for me right now, and I've been having trouble figuring out what it could be. We'll stop using. I got the birthday sample of Drunk Elephant products too. My favorite thing about it was literally the packaging of the face wash. I thought it was so convenient to open and squeeze out from the cap lol. But other than that, they were no better or worse than anything else I tried. It was eye opening cause I knew how popular and hype the brand was. Helped me realize that I should really use to my advantage the fact that my skin isn't sensitive and won't put up a fight with the things I put on it. I don't need to bend over backwards to find something that'll work. Same. What did you do to help heal slash get rid of the breakout? I'm still trying to figure out what to do and it's been almost a month. My dermatologist prescribed clindamycin and retainer. It took about that long for mine to heal. Same. My face took roughly a month to clear up from what drunk elephant elephant did to my skin. It didn't break me out but holy hell, that stuff burned my skin like living fire. I broke out really bad on my cheeks and my neck. I'm almost 3 months later after I stopped using their products and they are only just now starting to clear up. Thank you. Somebody had to say it. I broke out horribly after using their products. I thought it was maybe my skin purging, but it went on and on. I had to bail. Switched to the ordinary and it cleared my skin within a month. Amen. I have never really had bad issues with acne. Used drunk elephant because I had heard good things. After 2-3 two to three weeks I had the worst breakout of my life. Returned that garbage so fast. I was told by a brand representative of drunk elephant to go on a clean break. Meaning, only using drunk elephant to help with my texture issues and that the TLC Frambus Glycolic Night Serum would help with my texture. I quite literally woke up with new breakouts every morning. But the brand representative would tell me that in was just purging and all would be well after my skin purged. Needless to say it never got better and I had to come up with the conclusion that drunk elephant products were the cause of my breakouts. Same here. Dropped $300 plus on a full set basically and was told the same garbage. Thank god Sephora honored their return policy on all of it. I've seen a lot of people who have used prescription tret, use drunk elephant's retinol and get burned by it. Formula is kind and thus need some serious reworking. These people contacted Drunk Elephant to ask what the heck was happening, that they didn't have these issues with prescription threat, and was told by their PR guy, think his name is Nathan or Nate, that their retinol is more potent than threat. Then he gave a whole lot of bad advice, and resorted to shaming them for not being skin knowledgeable, because they continue to insist that it's not positive for OTC retinol to be stronger than prescription threat. Thanks, but no thanks. I got a luxury sample of their jelly cleanser and protony cream from Sephora as the birthday perk, and the cleanser was so drying, and the cream was nothing special. Use the retinol a few times, after the second I had pretty bad burns on my face. I tried getting a refund and they insisted it was user error. Never again. How did you pay? A charge back through your credit card company worked? I purchased it at Sephora, I called and then spoke with their skincare specialist. She actually turned me onto a better skincare line. Same. I swear their glycolic serum aged my skin about 5 years. It tore my face up. My eyes aged so much with the retinol. I have bags and lines that never existed before. I've never tried any full size product, but every sample I have received has broken me out. Especially the protony. I've splurged one expensive skincare items in the past and have felt either burned or disappointed by every single one. I've learned now that anything over $40 that doesn't last you more than 2 months is almost always a waste. Contact Dermatitis. I woke up with swollen eyes and cheeks from using their nighttime duo that I bought at Sephora. Switch the two and my skin has never been better. I bet drunk elephant is peeping this thread and thinking of some passive aggressive snarky reply lmao. 
so there's a really big skincare blogger, Caroline Herons who is UK based. She has a blog, YouTube, etc. She did a review on Drunk Elephant. I think the retinol, and basically said it was not great, too many unnecessary ingredients, was too irritating for what it is, and absolutely must be buffered, if you want to use it. Someone later contacted Drunk Elephant's customer service on Instagram DM with a concern they had using the retinol, mentioned her blog post which was a fair review, and the PR guy said that they don't give much credit to her aggressive attitude. She's literally considered the skincare queen by so many, me included. They've since blocked her and stopped sending her PR despite her being a fan of the vid C. They can't take criticism and think their shat don't stick. If a customer has an issue, instead of listening to feedback and improving, they shame them for not knowing what they're doing.